So our first method for signing digital letters is done right in Microsoft Office. So as you can see here, I've got my letter all set up and I've got everything the way that I want it except for I have a space for my signature right down here. So in order to sign it, I'm going to click the cursor where I want it to go, right where my signature will be. And then come up here and just scroll through the fonts until I find one that looks like the script that I want. Fonts ending in script are generally going to be a good choice. So here is freestyle script. Let's try that one. Now, I just make sure that my cursor is right where I want it still, and I type my name. Now you can see this is a little small, so I'm going to highlight it and come up here and just play around with the font sizes until I find a font size that I feel is what I want it to look like. Make a quick correction here, and there you go. I have now successfully signed my digital letter. Easy, huh? So the second method uh, involves putting your actual signature into your letter. So first, as you can see, I've signed this sheet of paper, and then I got a scanner. And any scanner will do if it's hooked up to a computer. All you need to do is get it put in there as an image file, and make sure you save it somewhere where you'll remember where you can find it. And now, we check back with our letter. And as you can see here, it's the same letter as before, and it's got the same open space. Uh, and it's still missing a signature. So I've got everything set up, but once again, I have my signature left blank. So this time, I'm going to click my cursor where I want my signature to go, and then go up to the Insert menu, and then click on that, and go down to Picture. And then clicking this will open the dialog box that will allow me to select the picture that I want to put in here. This is where you'll have to remember where you put that picture that you scanned in. And if you find that there's something wrong with it, you can always edit it in a photo program first. So here I've got my small signature. I click insert and there it is. It shows up. I could resize it if I want, but for this I'm just going to leave it as it is. And that's it.